Hi, I'm Chrissy Durstein, and I'm here to tell you the story of my spiritual birthday. I've always believed in God, but a pivotal time I would consider my spiritual birthday would be when me and my kids decided to follow Christ. It was in the sanctuary here. We just didn't get here by ourselves. It was God's timing. A few years back, my son Tyler and his wife Geraldine lost their son Levi, who was born stillborn at 31 weeks. I was able to be with Geraldine at the hospital to see God working through the tragedy. It was as if God orchestrated every detail, placing me there at that precise moment when Geraldine needed me. Although we wanted to watch Levi grow, we are looking forward to meeting him in heaven. Right after the loss of Levi, during one of Greg Hubbard's visits to Grace, Greg had asked us to come forward if we wanted to follow Jesus. Me and my kids felt led to go forward. We came right up here. At that moment, stepping out in faith was the only choice as we chose to mimic the faith demonstrated by everyone during that tragedy. God used this tragedy to breathe life into me and my kids. One of the things I never expected to find was the Grace family, but it was a gift that God made plans for in that hospital room. Since following Jesus more closely, my life has changed in many ways. Although there are times when I don't feel adequate or worthy of his love, he desires a relationship with me regardless of anything I've done or will do. I have a long way to go and I am far from grown, <laughs> but each day I attempt to make choices that will help me grow. Spending time in the Word, praying, and worshiping helps me. I also joined a small group reluctantly at first. Thank you for your persistency, Sherry and Chase, who forced me to go. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't joined a small group, I'd recommend it. It's now what I look forward to every Sunday evening to gather with friends who have become family. I want to tell everyone I meet about Jesus, or better than that, is to love them better. Love somebody today, send a message to a friend, start a conversation with a stranger, bless someone with your time or attention. I'm encouraging you to step out in faith and tell someone. Moments that have impacted me the most were when someone reminded me that God's plan might not always be our plan, but His plans are always better. Connect with those around you so that they will remember they are loved by you and God. My grandpa would always say to us, Jesus loves you and so do we. Remind someone of that today, even if it's yourself. You may never know, God could use you as part of someone's spiritual birthday, just as God used others in mine. Hi, my name is Christina Stanford, and this is the story of my spiritual birthday. I grew up in a Christian home. My family and I went to church two to three times every week, and I went to a private Christian school throughout my entire academic career. I made the decision to follow Jesus when I was just six years old. It was right after an Easter production at my church. My siblings and I met with the lead pastor after the production, and we all made the decision to follow Jesus that night. I consider that time to be my spiritual birthday, the little six-year-old Christina who just wanted to live for Jesus. That night, the pastor gave me a red bracelet that read something like, sins like crimson to white as snow. But I don't think at the time I fully understood what this meant. A few years went by and I didn't think of it. And even though I grew up in church, I hardly ever shared my faith publicly. Instead, I started to hide whenever a bad thing happened. I became closed off from my friends and family. My determination to be avoidant of bad things caused me to distance myself from God. My thoughts, desires, and actions were not glorifying to God. I kept thinking to myself, how did I get to this point? I go to church every Sunday. I read my Bible sometimes. How could I have ended up here? And the truth is, I got to that point because my desire to hide outweighed my desire for a personal relationship with God. Yes, I grew up in the church, but I was still trapped in my sin, and I still tried to hide. 
Recently, I learned what it means to be fully committed to Christ. To be committed means that I must say yes to whatever the Lord has asked of me. Once I committed myself to the Lord, I began to experience freedom and healing. The Lord reminded me that my identity is not rooted in the poor decisions of my past. My identity is rooted in Christ, that I am a dearly loved daughter of God, and that I have been forgiven and redeemed. Repenting of my sin and turning back to Christ has been the best decision that I have ever made. I can confidently say that I know the meaning of the bracelet my pastor gave me on my spiritual birthday 18 years ago. I was dead in sin, yet Christ took my punishment on himself and died for me, a sinner.